It's November 15th, and I'm starting a little project here. This is going to be uh, the beginning of it. Of course, I'll tell you about it once it's all over with. But, you know, we did a little uh, experiment to see how uh, garlic nodules grew. This, these nodules, which come from elephant garlic, uh, they produce a lot of them. Sometimes some get left in the ground and eventually you might get some garlic from them. Well, with our experiment, what we were doing was uh, taking the shell off of these. And some of them we, would, we broke the inner liner too because it's got a shell and then it's got an inner, inner liner. Now I'm going to take this shell all the way off here. Now I've got the sh the shell is off the outside and it kind of looks like this. It's got this inner layer on there. Now I have broken it, but I've tried not to damage the inside. Occasionally I do and we'll just see how that works. But these ones that I planted in this experiment that had both layers off like this tend to germinate better. Uh, a lot of them that had the, this inner layer on they still seem to rot on the inside and never grew. So, but anyway, I'm sitting here doing this. Now, this is kind of like uh, uh, shelling hazelnuts or something. Well, maybe not quite, but I'm just, I'm just catching this edge with my knife and I'm popping it off. And then that, that exposes enough that I can start uh, peeling this shell off and this is a tedious deal and some people might say well why go to all that uh, but we'll see here in the end but I'm just going to break this this edge and the reason why is I, I can get fluid through there this part should swell up and then start rooting out and, and that's kind of the plan but anyway this is the beginning I'm going to you get these shelled. There's quite a few in here uh, so far. That now this these they say won't stratify in the first year, so they'll just make a big big bulb of garlic, and that's fine if we're going to uh, preserve some. If we're going to freeze dry it, we're going to take and and uh, just chop up big bulbs and freeze dry it. But anyway, I'm going to finish up here, and then we're going to get it in the ground. Okay, I counted all these, and I have 389. And you can see these are all kind of small. So we're going to see, this is going to be a continuation of the first experiment, because we've prepared these uh, in a way that they germinated best in that experiment. And... Uh, the only reason I counted them is I want to see how many actually come up out of these, what percentage uh, actually grow into garlic. So we'll continue. And we're out here in our row. It's November 23rd when these nodules were planted. Now these are the ones that was in the container where I just threw them in with dirt. And we'll follow their progress. And the rest of this row, almost the complete row, is where I put the nodules in for the experiment. So we'll uh, look at them and see how they do. It's now February 19th. And here's our garlic experiment plot, which uh, even some of them that, we, that had sprouted here, these were the ones that we had uh, already pre-sprouted and, and uh, planted at the end. A few of them, the freeze got pretty rough on them and uh, took them out when we had our nine degrees with 40 mile an hour winds. It, now, as I look down the row here, and of course that's a weed there, but uh, you can see these nodules sprouting. Now, I've, just, I've started watering these occasionally here. Uh, just lately making sure that they do stay moist. Uh, I think that might be a trigger for them to uh, start germinating is uh, the ground temperature might change but they might start sensing moisture from the spring range. But anyway uh, a lot of these are 
uh, germinate real good. And if you remember last year, we had a whole row and we might have had a half a dozen come up with the other method. But these, a lot of these are new, so it looks like we're going to have a pretty full row uh, of elephant garlic here. So what I, what I wanted to do was uh, give this last update. Now, I say last update, so I can go ahead and uh, post this method. But uh, I, I wanted to let you know that this method does appear to work good. Now, as far as the total count, we'll have to see once the, it gets to warming up. Uh, you know, we've uh, a few nights back we had a couple of uh, lower 20s for the the night the night time, and normally we have fairly mild uh, winters in East Texas, even though we're in uh, zone eight here or eight B. Uh, we still have pretty mild winters, so this would probably have started germinating maybe a little bit earlier. But this winter's been a little bit different, which that happens. But anyway, uh, the method of taking and uh, cracking the shell off those garlic nodules uh, definitely does work and this is going to give us quite a bit of extra garlic uh, like say we'll when we harvest we'll go through and see if any of these um, bulbs had stratified because everyone says well there'll be a solid bulb which when we uh, freeze dry our garlic that doesn't matter we just chop it up and then put it in the freeze dryer so it's, whether it be a, a clove or a solid bulb we don't care but they will be fairly large but anyway, if you want to see more uh, experiments like this and other things, just hit that subscribe, hit the bell, select all. And of course, if you like it, give it a big thumbs up. Enjoy that gardening experience.